Hey gang, welcome to your 21st and final OAuth tutorial and in this video we're just going to add some final detail to our profile page, i.e. a profile thumbnail. Alright then, well done, you have successfully made a login system using Passport and Node.js, that is freaking awesome. Now if you wanted to extend this to other third party services like Facebook or GitHub so you can log in using those as well, all you'd have to do is go through exactly the same process, but also set up a Facebook strategy or a GitHub strategy, much like we did with the Google one. Now, obviously, the data you receive back is going to be different. So you just have to check out their APIs to see how you can do that. But the whole process is essentially the same kind of thing. Now, before we close out this series, I want to show you one more thing. So right now, the profile page just shows the NetNinja, my username, and it's not very interesting. So I want to also display something else. Maybe I want to display a thumbnail, a picture from my Google profile, right? So what we need to do when we retrieve that data, when a user logs in using Google, is we need to store that user image as well from their Google profile inside our database. Because right now, all we're doing is we're retrieving the username and the Google ID and storing those. We want to add a thumbnail to this, okay? So we have to do that in two different places inside our application. The first place we need to do it is inside here when we're retrieving that information, we're saving a user to the database. We need to add in a thumbnail property down there. We also need to do it inside our user model inside the schema. Now I've already done that. I've just added that in thumbnail right here. And it's also a string because it's at the end of the day going to be a URL to some kind of image. So we've added it into the schema right there. We also need to add it in down here, a thumbnail property. Now, before we do that, we need to find out where that thumbnail property is inside this profile. So let's just log out this profile to the console when we log in and test this out. So if I go to log out, first of all, then go to log in, log in using Google Plus. I'm going to go to my console over here. It's not done it yet. Oh, yeah, it has. So now we can see this profile object. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see this JSON property right here. OK, inside the profile and inside this JSON property, we have this URL and we have an image right here, which has a URL inside it. So this image has this URL. Now, I've already opened this URL up in another browser and it looks something like this. So this is my little thumbnail image from my Google profile. And that's what we want to grab. OK, so we're going to notice that this right here is inside the JSON object then it's the image and then it's the URL. So we need to take that and we need to add it on to our thing right here where we save a user. So we'll say the thumbnail is going to be the profile first of all, then it's dot underscore JSON. That's the first object that it's inside. Then it's dot image, then it's dot URL. So we're grabbing that URL and we're storing it now inside our user for their thumbnail so that we can then output that thumbnail on their profile page. Now, at the minute, if I log in, it's not going to grab that for me because I'm already signed up. So let's just test this out. I'm going to log out, then log in again using Google Plus. And because I'm already a member, I'm already a user on this website. It's not going to create a new record for me. So it's not going to grab that thumbnail uh, URL. OK, you can see this has not updated. So instead, I'm going to delete this record so that we can start afresh. We can sign up to the website again. It's going to create a new record for me. And this time, hopefully, include um, that image URL. So let's log in using Google+. And now if we take a look over here and refresh, we should see that record with the thumbnail right there. So we now have access to this URL for the thumbnail, which is cool. So when we're outputting the profile page, down here, we can output the thumbnail down here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste a little snippet from my GitHub repo and paste it inside the main tag. So we have an image with a source equal to, and then we're using EJS code right here inside the quotations to output the thumbnail. And remember, we need that little equal sign because we're directly outputting some data here. So it's user thumbnail. And remember, we can do this because we pass down the user object to this view in our profile route. OK, if we go to profile routes, we can see right here we're passing down this object, the user. 
So we can access that user object and output the thumbnail inside the source for this image. And then there's just a little P tag underneath to say, this is your profile thumbnail in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay, so let's save that. Then what I'm gonna do is refresh this page and now we can see our user profile on this as well. Let's just log out and check this whole process again. So I'll go to the home page, log in, Google Plus, takes us to the profile page, bang, there is our thumbnail as well. So there we go, my friends. That is how we create a login system using OAuth and Passport.js. I hope this series has been of some benefit to you. If you do enjoy them, please, my friends, don't forget to share them, subscribe and like. Now, in the future, I may add additional tutorials to this series to show you how to do it with Facebook and GitHub and maybe just extend the whole application. But we'll see where that goes and how many people want that. But for now, I hope this has benefited you in some way, shape or form. And I'm going to see you in the very next series.